McDonald's, we're back in the kitchen. Everybody, you've seen what we've gotten in on Facebook. We got in three lobsters frozen from a major supermarket for $5.99. I want to see if they're any good or if they're total crap. So they've defrosted. About two days later, they finally defrosted. Lobster, let's be honest, they're small, but they did only cost us six euro. What are we making? We're making lobster termidor. What's lobster termidor? An absolutely classic dish, okay? Classically, it would be made from a Mornay sauce, which is basically a white sauce and cheese, a bit of brandy and mustard. Because of the amount of celiacs out there, I'm gonna do it slightly different so that anybody and everybody can enjoy this. Should we buy these lobsters? Absolutely, because we wanna be able to make dishes like this for cheap by the time we get around to making a professional one. So let's go, okay. Here's our lobster. I'm just going to take off its claws. I said, this is good practicing for when we spend a lot of money on the more expensive ones. Take off these guys. Bigger lobsters tones. There will be more meat in these, but there's pretty much nothing in these guys. But however, they'll go in for a stock. Just twist them and pull them straight out. Okay, and here we go. Now, I'm going to split this bad boy open in half. I'm telling you now, there will be coral, there will be its eggs inside. So straight down, sharp knife, like that tones, sharp knife. Straight into the cross on the back, straight down. Turn around. These were frozen, I said there's going to be a lot of liquid coming out of them as well. So as I said, you pay, or you get the paper. Straight down through the back, your knife will go through it. Straight through. Yeah, and as I thought, we had the coral in it. That means nothing to me because I actually enjoy eating it. So there we go. Okay, Tones. We've split them up, okay, right? This is what we need to look for, okay? On each half, you'll find maybe a bit of the intestinal sac, okay? So have a guess what comes out of that. It's like what you see in the prawns, guys. That should never be in the seafood, so we want to take that out. Get a little teaspoon. I find it's great. We'll just pull it up, and out we go. Otherwise, also at the top here, we don't want to eat that. Not edible. Although, there's a lot of guys out there who disagree with me, but we want to remove that as well. Got it. Now, tip of your spoon tones right underneath. Guys, if I be very honest, these lobsters are overcooked, okay? That's my own personal opinion. And when we go to reheat them in our sauce later on, more than likely they will break. Like I said, this is a great way to learn a classic dish cheaply, okay? So you see what I've done there? Look, we're trying to keep it in as much as that. Get your spoon in, spoon in underneath, and then we turn it upside down, and we pull it all the way out in one go. Okay? Got one and a half. We do the same with the other half now. Okay, Tones, we've taken out the body. Now what I want to do, let's get in a little bit of a little spoon. There's not a lot of meat in this, but there is still some there, right? So get your spoon in there, pick out all the meat, white meat, brown meat, everything. As I said, we're gonna put that into the into our Termidor sauce. Again, plenty of flavor, okay? So we just pick out everything there. Okay, Tones, we've taken out the bodies. Now we're on to the claws, okay? Guys, be careful. Look, these guys, they're full of prickly, spiny little things. Again. When I pop this open, there's probably going to be water falling out of the tones. They were frozen. Uh, as I said, I just want to see, are these going to be any good? So we break off here. We do the same. But here. Because they're so small, I'm actually going to use a bit of a scissors to cut through some of the shell as well, tones, to get it all off in one piece. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if I don't get it off in one piece. But it doesn't matter, okay? We're practicing. It's costing us a fraction of the amount. Back of the knife. Okay, not your blade, the back of the knife. Right? And I'm actually just going to tap it pretty gently because they are pretty brittle, these shells. I don't want to cause much damage. Okay, and we just start peeling. Keep your shell, guys, that's going into our sauce. Don't forget, keep that shell. Just twist here. You can see there's a bit of a, I never remember what they call it. And I'll, uh, thing that you can't eat anyway. What's it called, don't Cartilage! <laughs> Cartilage, he says. I should know, I've none on my knees. And pull it out as much as you can, and hopefully, well, holy God, lads, we got it out in one piece. Perfect. Don't forget, keep that shell, guys, that's going into our sauce. So you see me do one claw, we don't need to do the second claw. Okay, so let's get a close-up in here, right? We're sweating off onions, garlic, and a little bit of butter, okay? As I said, these lobster very, very cheap, okay? So we need to get as much flavor in here. So we're gonna show the ingredients for our Termidor sauce. Tones, follow me, okay? The shells that we took off from our lobster, okay? We're gonna put that in, like so, okay? Turn up that heat, full blast. As I said, classically, guys, we would use like a bechamel sauce, 
and add cheese, the Gruyere cheese into it, which is called a Mornay sauce, like a cheese sauce, okay? And then we'd add in our other bit of flavoring in it. But I'm doing this with no flour, so all celiacs and everybody can eat this perfectly. Sizzling away, perfect. Next, we're gonna put in our white wine, okay? And we've got maybe four fluid ounces of white wine. And what we want there, Tones, is we want that to reduce a little bit. Okay, our other ingredient, like I told you, when I picked out the little bits of brown meat that was in underneath the, the kind of the legs of the lobster, we're throwing that in. Doesn't look good for presentation, but it's packed full of flavor. And give that a stir. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, toast meat, we're gonna bring that to the boil. Let it simmer for about 30 seconds and the white wine to reduce by about half. We've got plenty of flavor in that. Okay, Tons, close up there. There's our white wine, onions, garlics, and all the shells and all the little bits of white meat that we dug out of the lobster. What are we gonna do? We're gonna strain it. Okay, tighten, please. It might be a little bit messy, guys, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're basically only after the liquor, right? Perfect. We basically just squash through, lovely that. Perfect. Thank you, Titan. Take that away. Now, boys and girls, full blast. Let's go. The rest of our ingredients for our Thermidor sauce. Cream tones. This will automatically thicken itself, okay? Brandy, okay? Now we're not gonna flambe this tones, okay? Because we actually want the flavor. And trust me, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be doing lobster termidor for your four-year-old kid. So we want the flavor of the brandy in there. In we go, baby. Oh, oh, oh yeah, baby. Okay, what we're gonna do, season it now. A little bit of salt. A little rock salt, guys. And a little bit of pepper. Fantastic. Turn it down a bit. And classically, we put in English mustard. Okay, I said celiacs, we're not using the flour. You gotta be careful that sometimes this is not celiac friendly. So if it's not, you gotta find your own mustard that is celiac friendly. I'm gonna put in about, yeah, about that much, about two teaspoons. We want a good kick off it. Give it a little stir. The mustard will thicken it up as well. And the only other thing that needs to go into this now, guys, is Gruyere cheese. If you don't have Gruyere, just use a good, hard cheese. You can see already, even with that mustard now, we've taken that up a little bit. We're gonna reduce this until it thickens up. 30 seconds on a simmer, guys, we'll do the job. We've been reducing this now for 30 seconds to a minute. It's beginning to get a little bit thicker. Last thing we're putting in, as I said, Gruyere cheese, guys, okay? Keep stirring it in so we don't get a big lump. Again, the cheese is obviously going to be thickening this. Don't be shy, guys. Put in a good, decent bit of it. You can see that already, Tones. Melting in. Beautiful sauce. I always tell you guys, taste, taste, taste always as you go along. So taste it now. Might need a little bit more seasoning. Oh, jeez, that is good. <laughs> oh, baby. Keep a little bit of cheese back for the garnish. I'm gonna turn this down totally, Tones, okay? Because this is very, very brittle. And while you see what I wanna do, because it's frozen like that, we actually I'm gonna even take it off the heat altogether. We wanna warm it very gently in there because if I put that on, the sauce is still boiling, it's just gonna to fall to crap, basically. So, put in the claws, be careful with it. And put in the tails, just to warm it through. 30 seconds, because this is going to go under the grill for a glaze. Okay, Tones, we've been in there now for literally about maybe 30, 45 seconds. I said, okay, we're dealing with a frozen product here, so I'm not expecting to get wonders. But you are learning a superb technique of a classic dish here, guys. And all it is costing you is about six euro. Spoon your lobster right back in. Get your bad boy claw like this, put your other bad boy in there, put him in here like this, beautiful. And now what we're going to do, get a close up on this sauce, 
is we're just going to fill the shells with our Thermidor sauce. Don't worry if it's going to go a little bit on the tray guys because we're going to glaze this under a very hot grill. And then we put it on as our presentation. We've got our sauce, we've got our lobster. I know the meat isn't 100% in it. Like I said, I'm actually delighted I've done this because this is an old time retro classic lobster thermidor. I'll sprinkle a little bit of your Gruyere cheese back on top, under the grill, and we're going to glaze it. Okay, Tons? We need to keep an eye on this bad boy. Okay, so you just put this under the grill in your house at home. Okay? Keep an eye on it. You've got at least 45 seconds to me, Tons, you can see up there. 45 seconds, you want to be checking that because that can burn very, very quickly, okay? So let's just keep a good close eye on it. Okay, Tons, we're under the grill maybe, as I said. 45 seconds to a minute. Just keep an eye on it guys, some grills aren't as hot as others, blah blah blah, so keep an eye on it. And here we have got our beautiful lobster thermidor. Tones, Tones, do you know what, I used to, you see, up to me Tones, I told you I'm not always in the camera, Tones is trying to tell me he's got all this fancy dancy camera now, I don't need to say up to me Tones anymore. I made you Tones, don't you forget that, you were nothing until I came on the scene. Okay, now, here we go, red hot shells, be careful guys. Okay, what an amazing dish. For six quid? Am I glad I bought these? Do you know what? You're damn right I did. You're damn right I did. What am I saying to you? Okay. There we go. We put a little bit of parsley in the middle. Imagine this for a starter on Christmas Day, guys. A little bit of parsley. A little bit of chives around it. You'd get away with half of one of these for your Christmas starter. Three euro for your Christmas starter. Fantastic. And you're giving them lobster. Tones up to me for a second, baby. Did I think these were any good? They're not the greatest quality. Let's be honest with it. I said there's not much meat from the claw back down to the body. The tails, they're okay. Slightly overcooked and got a lot of water because they're frozen pretty much. I reckon they catch them, cook them and freeze them on the ship. But guys, I actually think you should go buy these. Try it. This is one of the best classic dishes you will ever come across. And I've shown you how to make it for six quid. Why? Because I love it. Trust me, try this at home. I guarantee you're going to love it. Tones, we just made lobster thermidor for six quid.